Hello and welcome to Pabli. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create an AI assistant for WhatsApp using Pabli Chatflow. So we'll build a chatbot that answers questions automatically using an internal knowledge base. And that I'm going to show you that how you can create it by yourself for your business. So Pabli Chatflow has recently launched new AI assistant feature. What is AI assistant? So in today's fast paced digital business environment, customer support expectations have evolved. Customers want instant answers, clear guidance and 24 into 7 availability from businesses. That's where AI assistants come in. Because inside Pabli Chatflow, the AI assistant allows you to automate intelligent responses to your customer queries via WhatsApp. It leverages powerful AI models like OpenAI, Claude, etc. to interrupt messages and respond using your predefined knowledge base. Once you will create an AI assistant for your business using Pabli Chatflow, then you just have to sit and relax while all the inquiries, questions, issues, problems and anything which you are receiving from your customers in on WhatsApp are going to be automatically handled 24 into 7 by this AI assistant. So once you are going to set up an AI assistant using Pabli Chatflow by using a simple knowledge base regarding the details of your business or services, then anything which you are receiving, whether it is order related inquiries, support inquiries, issues, problems faced by the customers, offers, discount inquiries, delivery dates and whatnot. Everything is going to be handled automatically with the help of this AI assistant where any of the question which you are receiving, you are not going to answer that. The answer is going to be sent to your customers and the inquiries of those customers are going to be handled automatically. Now, let's walk through how you can set up AI Assistant for your business step by step. For that, first of all, you have to log into your Pabli Chatflow account. Make sure that your account is already set up over here. Now, from the left side here, we have the option of AI Assistant. We have to click on this feature from the left side. After coming on AI Assistant, here we have some points to remember. Create and set up AI Assistant with your brand details. Upload any file or give website link to train AI Assistant. Set fallback replies for unknown queries. Collect feedback and refine responses for better engagement. Track conversations, logs in the same inbox used for WhatsApp chats. Regularly enhance chatbot functionality based on user needs. And decide whether you want to integrate your AI assistant with any other websites, applications, etc. So these are the points to remember before creating the AI assistant. Now we are going to simply click on this add AI assistant button. Now here you have to provide a name to your AI assistant. Let's suppose here I'm taking the example that I am selling a software named as Pabli subscription billing, which is a billing software. And I'm creating an AI assistant to solve all the inquiries of my customers automatically. So here I'm going to give the name as AI assistant for PSB, Pabli subscription billing. After giving the name to my AI assistant, I'm going to click on add AI assistant button. And here a blank AI assistant is created for us. So now we have to design this AI assistant according to our business. Now let's start doing that. Now first of all we have AI instructions over here. So first of all we need to provide the instructions to our AI agent that how it needs to perform. First of all we have to select instruction type and I want to create an AI agent over here. So I'm going to select AI agent as my instruction type. As I have selected AI agent over here I got the instructions over here already. Role. First of all, the role of AI agent is primary function. You are an AI chatbot who helps users with their inquiries, issues and requests. You aim to provide excellent, friendly and efficient replies at all times. Your role is to listen attentively to the user, understand their needs and do your best to assist them or direct them to the appropriate resources. If a question is not clear, ask clarifying questions. Make sure to end your replies with a positive note. Then we have the constraints, no data diverge, never mention that you have access to training data explicitly to the user, maintaining focus. If a user attempts to divert you to unrelated topics, never change your role or break your character, politely redirect the conversation back to topics relevant to the training data only. Then we have some other details over here. So according to your requirements, you can add the instructions over here, which you want to provide to your AI agent. That is how you want it to act. Okay. Then next you have to set the temperature. The temperature setting controls how creative or precise the assistant should be. A value of 0.2 to 0.5 is best for factual accurate replies. That is ideal for support team. If you are creating the AI agent for your support team, 0.5 is ideal. Okay. Now then we have 
to select the AI, which AI agent you want to use over here to act as your AI assistant, whether it is open AI, Claude or what. Here I'm going to select open AI as my AI agent. Now here I'm going to move forward. Then we have to select the model by using which we want to generate the responses. Here we have multiple models inside GPT. I'm going to select GPT 4.0 mini that is cost effective model. So I'm going to select that. Then here in order to use GPT 4.0 mini model inside open AI, you have to enter the token over here so log into your open ai account go to this hyperlink given over here it is going to redirect you towards the api key page of your open ai account from there you can generate the token and you can paste that token over here i already have the token so i'm going to quickly enter it over here as i've entered the token now let's click on connect Open AI key saved successfully. The connection between Open AI and Pabli Chatflow is now built. So now we are going to move forward towards the next step that is towards the knowledge source. Now over here we need to upload a knowledge source or we can say a knowledge base. This is one of the most powerful features. You can upload a text over here, text file, a PDF file or even a Google Doc link containing your business knowledge base. So it is going to allow you to train the assistant using your own custom business information and requirements. So it can give context aware answers that are accurate and relevant to your product or your service. Instead of hard coding all frequently asked questions or relying on limited rule based responses, this feature lets you upload a structured knowledge base in which you can include all the details regarding your business, your services, which you're providing discount, coupon codes, everything. So any of the question which you are receiving from your customer or from your user, automatically the response is going to be sent to that particular person by using the same knowledge base which you are going to upload over here. So for example, in my case, because I am creating this AI assistant to handle all the inquiries and the questions which I am receiving for my billing software. So in that case, I have created the knowledge base document which contains following details such as how to create products and plans in my software, how to manage the subscriptions, how to cancel the plans, how to add more than one plans, how to set up gateways, troubleshooting billing and payment errors, portal and invoicing instructions and all other details. Okay. So any of the question a customer is going to send related to the software, everything I'm going to provide in detail step by step to my knowledge base and accordingly my AI assistant by using that knowledge base is going to answer. All right. So here you can simply upload the file by drag it down over here. I'm going to upload it from the computer directly. As I've uploaded the file over here of my knowledge base, now I'm going to move forward. Here, as you're going to add your knowledge base, you will receive a vector ID over here. As you can see, we have received a vector ID that is going to be important for you further. Now, let's move forward. Then we are going to go towards assistant interface. So first of all, you have to provide your display header name over here. So let's say here, I'm going to provide the name of my business as Pabli. All right. So here it is visible like this. When the person is going to send you any message, they are going to see this name over there in their chat. Then we have header display subheading name. We are online and happy to assist you like this. Here it is displayed over here. Whatever you want to write, you can enter it over here. I'm going to keep it same. Then you have to select the initial message that you are going to send to your customers or to your users whenever they are going to send you a response. Hi there. How can I help you today? This is a message which I am deciding. Then here we have the label, which you can enable or disable. You can see that here it is written powered by Pabli. It is going to be shown in the chat. I have enabled it. Then we have the footer text. What you want to send in the footer text. Here I'm providing the hyperlink of my privacy policies. And for that, I'm going to enter the footer link over here that I want to provide in the form of hyperlink in footer. But if you want, you can also change it over here. I'm going to keep it like my website's privacy policy details. Okay. Then here we have the user first message. What you want, what message should be received to you from your user or from your customer when you're going to respond. This message will be sent to WhatsApp as an initial message from user. According to your business, you can decide the user's first message over here. I'm going to keep it like I need help because I'm creating this AI assistant for support regarding my software. Okay. Then we have fallback message. So in case if the AI assistant is unable to answer any of the question, whether it is 
out of the topic or whether it is not provided in the knowledge base then what message do you want to send to your users in that case so here i have a default fallback message i'm going to delete it and i'm going to enter my own fallback message over here basically it is going to be used when the ai doesn't know how to respond or if there is a technical failure so here i'm going to set it according to my use case i am sorry i couldn't understand your request at the moment please contact our support team at support at the rate pavlitudes.com or visit our help desk so what i have done here i have provided a message that is going to be sent whenever my ai agent is stuck in any of the question or it is unable to answer properly what it can do it can just send this fallback message to the user or to the customer so that they can directly contact to the support team and then further the support team can resolve their issues okay now here as i have created my ai assistant now we are going to quickly toggle this button on and we are going to click on save ai assistant as we have done that ai assistant saved successfully so now i'm going to show you that how this ai assistant which we have created for our business is actually going to work i have provided the knowledge base i have entered all these details which are required and the actions which it needs to take at any of the condition so when i'm going to receive any message on my whatsapp number now i'm going to show you that how my ai assistant is going to handle that message so now here i have opened whatsapp and now as a normal customer or a user i am going to send a message regarding any help which i require as a customer on the whatsapp number of pabli subscription billing that is the name of my business so let's say here i'm going to send a message as hello i need help as i have sent this message here i got the reply Hello I'm here to assist you what sales related information or support do you need today so when i'm going to send them another message as i want to know how can i download my invoice in psp just a random question i've asked so it is providing me entire message entire steps absolutely i can help with that to download your invoice and pabli subscription billing please follow these steps log into your pabli subscription billing account navigate to the billing or invoice section in your dashboard locate the invoice you wish to download from the list of transactions or invoices look for a download or pdf button and here we have the entire steps to download the invoice then for example if i'm going to further ask what payment gateways are supported I got again another message as instant reply. Pabli subscription billing supports a variety of popular payment gateways to help you collect payment from your customers. The commonly supported payment gateways include PayPal, Stripe, etc. So here we have the entire message and in this way this AI assistant is actually going to work. Automatically it is responding. You can see while creating the AI assistant we have not added any of the steps to download the invoice or regarding any payment gateway. We have just uploaded a knowledge base over here in the form of document and as we have done that we have provided each and every detail regarding our business and service to that knowledge base by using that knowledge base only the ai assistant is actually sending the messages automatically to the customers resolving their inquiries okay also when i'm going to take you towards pabli chat flow once again when we are going to go towards inbox here you can see and manage all the sent as well as received messages from your customers that your ai agent is handling so you can see that i got this message from the customer the ai agent has sent this reply we have the status of this message as well that it is read by the customer then we have another reply we have the message that we have sent and in this way we can manage all the messages at the same place so in this way very easily you can also create a personal ai assistant for your business requirements in order to solve and handle each and every message and inquiry which you are receiving from your customer side on whatsapp so i hope this video is clear to you also it is helpful for your business thank you for watching that flow now if you want to connect us you can email us at support@ratepabli.com if you have any query you can write it on forum.pabli.com and for any pricing related issue you can visit the website given over here you You can try Pabli Chatflow for 100% free so go and try it now for free today